Okay, so we want to eliminate the parameter t and then graph the resulting equation from this set of parametric equations. Now, what you're going to see is that this comes out to be an ellipse and when you graph it, and you can find that out by simply substituting values in for t and seeing what you get out for x and y and then graphing them on the rectangular coordinate system. Or you could put these into some kind of graphing program like Desmos, whatever it's going to come out to be, an ellipse. But what we want to do is do this algebraically so we have three variables, x, y, and then t, and t is called the parameter here, so we want to find a way to eliminate t. So because it's a trig, these are trig functions or involved trig functions, we know that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So if we can find the sine of t and the cosine of t, we can square them, add them together, we know the result will be 1. So I'm going to solve this equation for cosine t. So cosine t is going to be equal to x over 3. Likewise, when I so solve this equation for sine t, I'm going to get sine t is equal to y over 2. Now I know that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. I want to have x first, so I'm going to say this. Cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. That's just my Pythagorean trig, tri, uh, that's my, uh, Pythagorean trig identity, right? So cosine t is equal to x over 3. So this is x over 3 quantity squared plus sine of t is y over 2. So that's y over 2 quantity squared is equal to 1. So what do I get here? I end up with x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. And I recognize that as being the equation of an ellipse to find the where it crosses the x-axis. I let y be equal to 0, and I see that x is going to be plus or minus 3. So it will cross the x-axis here and here. And then to find uh, the values of y, the y-intercepts, I'll let x be equal to 0. And I see the solutions to this equation are y equal plus or minus 2. So it would be 2 here, negative 2 down here, and I'll connect these with a nice smooth curve. And that's the graph of this set of parametric equations, and I find, I find it by eliminating the parameter t. When I go from this step to this step, you don't see t anymore. It's just the variables x and y. Now I've got it in, some, in terms of something I recognize from my algebra classes, the equation of an ellipse. So I simply graph that ellipse right there. So that's a look at eliminating the parameter t from a pair of parametric equations.